my hair. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I always start with um, because I just never know what to say in these intro things. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video with the soap comparison. Um, I wanted to kind of do another pump review, so that's why we are going to be reviewing slash I'm going to be talking about the Hakka pump. I hope I'm saying that right, but you know, things are, words are hard. Um, I did just want to mention, uh, which I did mention in my soap video, that I am going to be taking about a one to two week break the week of the, or the week after the 22nd, uh, because I have a wedding that I'm shooting, so that'll take up like a ton of my time with like editing and stuff like that. So I really want to just dedicate some time to that. And school is closing, so we kind of wanted to just take a little bit of break um, after school closes and just sort of have, you know, family time just because I feel like that time is like so, uh, hectic and it's just hard to kind of like get anything done, if that makes sense. If the light is changing all the time, it's because, okay, I just lost my train of thought because my son was doing something outside that he shouldn't have been. But anyways, I just wanted to alert everybody on that. Anyways, so let's just talk about the Hakka. So I wanted to do a review on this pump because this pump is, it, it is a pump, like it's pretty small, but this pump is perfect for somebody who is more on the route of exclusively nursing and wants just like a couple of ounces here and there or like a bottle here and there of, you know, milk to kind of give to their baby. This is great for that. So this is actually the knockoff brand of the Hakka. Hold on. I just had to close some doors because it's apparently super loud around the house today. So I'm not really sure exactly where I was, but this is what it looks like. This is the knockoff brand. So you can get this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. As for like if, if this is better than the original Hakka, like I think this one was fine. I loved this one. I haven't really been using it during my exclusively pumping journey because, um, you know, I don't really need to kind of like utilize this and I'll sort of explain that as I go because this is like a slower pump if that makes sense you know where I like need to be I'll explain it <laughs> but it's made of silicone so you can you know um, manipulate it I guess uh, and it, I think this one you can totally put in the dishwasher sterilizer uh, yeah what have you it did come with a little cap just to kind of put on it and some of them come with like stands or like a flower thing I really don't think you need that as long as like you just you know you're just kind of careful like it does well this is my hand but it does like stay pretty well so this is how you use it <laughs> I know it kind of looks funny I'm gonna explain how to use it in a minute but so how like what you know what do I actually do with this thing well when you're nursing on one side with your baby the haka can go on the other side that you're not nursing on and catch your like one to two ounces of letdown and you're probably like oh I'm not like I don't make one to two ounces of letdown you would be so surprised so when you have your letdown when your baby is nursing you just put this you fold it back like this and you put your nipple like right in the middle of that hole and then you kind of let it go like that over your breast and it creates this little suction so that it stays there. It's pretty intense suction but it creates a suction so that it stays there and just naturally kind of sucks your let down out. And you can get, this is a four ounce one, you can get like up to four ounces whatever and so that way when your baby is nursing you can still kind of be pumping without sort of having like you know a ton attached to you like this is a really sort of on the go fast and easy and then when they're done nursing on that side you can start them on the haka side and then move the haka over to the other side in case you have another letdown while you're nursing on your other side so i hope that that makes sense so let me just show you again how to use it so you can fold it like this that's what I would do and then squeeze it and then right when it's on your like your nipple you feel like it's centered in there you can just let this go at the same time so that it creates that suction um, so it stays there by itself like you shouldn't have to hold it it should just it should just stay there on its own 
Um, and I loved this little thing when I used it with my second. I, I feel like it was new then. Like, I don't remember hearing about it with my first. So I will have it linked down below. Um, this video is not sponsored. Like, I bought this a while ago. And uh, I'll have the this one, the knockoff one, and the original one in case you're, like, wondering. But I feel like the knockoff one was completely fine. Some people think, you know, oh, no, like, you know, b spend the extra money on the real Hakka. I found that this gave me at least like two, two and a half, sometimes three ounces from the letdown. And it was super, super fun because uh, you just had a little bottle kind of waiting there. And it was nice sort of if you were in a rush and maybe like you only got to nurse on one side because we're sometimes in rushes as mothers and parents. You know, you could bring, you could just pour this into a little bottle and bring the milk with you. It was completely, completely awesome. Or if you want to start with like you know, a freezer stash, like this can totally help you start that. I think it's a really great buy and you should definitely look into it. It's a really f like fast and easy little pump. And I feel like this was only like 20, 17, 20, maybe $15. Like I'll have it linked below so you guys can find it. But I bet now that there's like some new stuff, you know, with it. Um, I just haven't really looked it up because as I said, like I'm exclusively pumping. So this kind of just... I don't, I need to like, you know, get out my full amount of ounces. So, and I don't have the baby to nurse because I'm a surrogate. So this is definitely more directed towards the, um, nursing mother and mother who kind of wants to start like their freezer stash or refrigerator stash, like whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little review on the Hakka pump. Uh, I definitely like let me know down below if you guys want to look into it or if you're interested. I know this video is a little bit shorter, but I did want to mention it because I feel like um, a lot of people are like, well, what the heck is a Hakka? Like it sounds like, you know, Hakka loogie or something. <laughs> um, I was sort of like, oh, I think I definitely think they're saying the name wrong. But then, you know, when I looked it up, I was like, oh, actually, no, it's it is pronounced Hakka, but it's a great little pump. I totally like can save you time and it's super easy as for like, you know, it kind of does hang off your boob a little bit. So you kind of need to be a little bit aware of that, but I definitely feel like you can, you know, move around a little bit while you're nursing your baby. And if he or she kicks it, it's not, it shouldn't pop off, but you might just want to be aware that it could. Um, I like it because you don't really have to wear a pumping bra to keep it on where like the regular flanges like the Medela flange or Spectra flange you have to wear the bra to like keep it on where this will kind of like suction itself on so you don't necessarily have to wear a bra which obviously you could if you want it to be more covered because you would have to sort of be open to the elements but um, I did really like that about this pump. Anyway also just wanted to mention and big a big shout out and thank you to the winner of um, last week's giveaway I hope that you guys had a lot of fun with that giveaway video I did definitely keep looking and the person who won is going to be in the description box of the giveaway video so and I will be doing more giveaway videos um, I want to uh, try and figure out like what my next goal on YouTube is going to be um, I'm thinking we should try another giveaway and if we read 500 um, just because like I don't want to do too many giveaways at once because that can be <laughs> slightly expensive but I do really want to do a lot more giveaways um, I am thinking of doing some individual giveaways on some products so yeah um, but if you guys uh, liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and join the family. Um, if you're new, my name is Kim and I'm exclusively pumping right now for a milk bank and I was a gestational carrier. Um, I'll have all those videos kind of linked down below, but yeah, I've created this YouTube channel uh, for new moms, experienced moms, parents, fathers, grandparents, whatever, just to kind of you know, bring education and awareness to surrogacy and IVF and just motherhood and parenthood in general. 
So I love to hear any of your journeys or questions. Please comment them below, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next.